In this tutorial in Titler Pro, we're going to look at how to import images into your titles and how to do some very simple formatting. What I'd like to do is uh, add to my little screen here of my batter up. We're going to use a baseball theme for this example. So I'm going to take my playhead and move it to the very beginning of my title, which is eight seconds long, and I'm going to add an image. By the way, I'm working in Titler Pro 1.5, which is an add-on to my copy of PowerDirector. I've loaded it in my timeline and uh, then enlarged it so you can see. So we're going to click on the File menu to import our image, and then click on the fourth item down, Import Image. When I do that, uh, I'll pick this picture of these baseball players, double-click. It will always load the image like it loads any paragraph right in the dead center of your screen. Uh, I can click on it and it, show, it calls it shape. Now Titler Pro 1.5 uh, is a little bit awkward here because every image will have the same name. To understand what you are clicked on, it's best to click down here uh, in your track. I'm going to import another image and this time I'll import a baseball bat. And notice it also brought that in in the center of the screen. And if I click there, now I see the, the green border around the baseball bat. I'm going to take that and move that over here. And then I'm going to click on the other one. You notice they're both simply called shape here. And I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this a little bit. And then I'll move it down a little bit to the lower right. So here I have my shape. Let me show you a couple of things that you can do with these objects besides simply bring them in. I'm going to click back on the baseball bat and I can take this and I can rotate it any way I want. I can also move it on a third dimensional level by clicking on this picture of the globe and I can tilt it, reverse it uh, however I want. So you can make any kind of adjustments you want to uh, on the X, Y, or Z scale with your image. Uh, I'll leave it right there for now. You can also do the same, obviously, when I click on the shape, which is the picture. I can take the picture shape and I can move it. Now let's, let's leave it like maybe that. Okay, I'll click off and then we'll go ahead and move it up a little bit. And uh, so most of what you can do with any paragraph, you can also do with an object. When I click on the Style tab, I'll, I'll highlight my, uh, my baseball guys here. You notice it treats it like a texture. I have no letters or words, but I have an image it treats like a texture. And this allows me to do several different kinds of things with that. I can extrude it like I did with my batter up. I can also put a, uh, an outline around it if I wish. Let's take, uh, let's turn it to a blue here. Okay. I can change the layer depth. I can do all the things that we've been talking about before uh, in other, other lessons where we're showing you how to modify a paragraph. And these are some of the kinds of things that you can do when it comes to an image. You can also do other things with keyframing. We'll show you about that in another lesson. Uh, I also can do, like I can with a paragraph, I can do some transitions. So let me go to my library and try a couple transitions. Let's take the halo one called Dream, and I'll attach that. And then we'll go ahead and play this, and you'll see what happens. We play here and it comes in kind of fuzzy and then it sharpens up. If I were to do this one, I probably would shorten the transition. So I simply go to it with my mouse and move it back here. And now we'll try it this way and we'll hit our preview screen here. And there it fades in pretty quickly and then becomes uh, crystal clear at the end. So you can apply transitions. Again, if you want to take a transition out that you don't like, you simply uh, click on this and 
you can do delete transition, which didn't appear on your screen. So we can add or remove transitions. We can resize and shape things. And um, it's very nice to see all the ways in which you can take a regular image and add it to your title in Titler Pro. Thank you.